Welcome everyone to HFN today. It's August the 17th, 2020. I'm gonna give you all the update on XRP. Let's see what a trap. It's gonna to try to take the value of XRP going forward. Now we've been tracking XRP over the last six, seven days. Uh, our last video, which was done on the 14th of August, we left the market forecast alone because we still saw indications that the trap is going to increase the value of XRP. Now, before I get started, as to the performance from the trap from our last video, and then update you all on where we're expecting the trap to take the value XRP, let me plug you on this particular platform. You guys appreciate our videos and our content, and you want to stay updated on any of the market moves that we are covering, hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. It's that simple. And then join us on our website, hufinancial.com. It's free. And you'll be able to see all of our other content that we are pinpointing and of, of such importance that we wanted to share with our community. So make sure you join us on our website as well. Now, August the 14th was three days ago. Let me zoom in and show you what has occurred since that time from the trap. Here it is. We played the continual strength into the market for XRP on that day. And the market, it just consolidated. The last three days in XRP, the trap has simply upheld the price of an XRP token. That's all. What that means is that the market is calm. We're not seeing that much volatility. The volume is decent, it's not heavy, it's not extremely light. So everyone is complacent right now in the market for XRP on this Bifinex exchange. Everyone is complacent. No one is not trying to hurry, get out the market and no one is trying to FOMO in. Do not make this difficult. So, another thing, I wanted just to give you a visual depiction as to how strong this market in XRP really is. We're in a very pretty good uptrend. We're in a pretty good uptrend in the market in XRP. And based off the last, I would say, week and a half, two weeks, we haven't reacted negatively to what occurred on the second. The second was your first clue that the market in XRP could go lower. It was. And it did. But it wasn't substantial. It didn't have a massive impact on the value of XRP. Which is one reason why our forecast was for the trap to increase the value of XRP. Second thing to show you that the trap is not worried about bringing the value of XRP lower is this. Support is definitely held at 30 cents, right? So what we're going to do, this support area that we have down here, we're going to get rid of it. And there's no need to have it there because we have multiple days to substantiate that 30 cents into the market in XRP is support. So we don't need it. All right, so we're gonna get rid of it. The restriction area though, 31 cents, that's definitely still in play. Okay, so if you wanted to take some of this profitability out of the market in XRP, you can. 1.88% you're being profit right now from our forecast that was done all the way back here on the 11th of August. All right? So, what we're going to do in the forecast for XRP, we're going to continue to allow the market to ride. We're not going to change our forecast. There's no need to change the forecast as of yet into the market for XRP. Now our TP area, around 31 cents, which would be 
about 4% profitability. Okay. But generally, there's still a lot of strength that is being revealed into the market for XRP. Let's see how the market conclude on the weekly time frame. So the weekly time frame definitely looks pretty good in XRP as well. If you're a long term viewer of XRP, we concluded last week pretty well, considering that the last two weeks before that, there was definitely some selling going on into the market and the trap he took it well which lets me know he still has his eyes on increasing the value of xrp right now now can the market only go up to our restriction area of 31 cents yes and then crash that's definitely a possibility can it also go up to around 32 cents it sure can but generally the sentiment of the market in xrp is higher price the strength is still apparent so we're going to continue to play that on our forecast so i'm looking around you know 32 and a half cents 33 cents as the next contentious area between the sellers and the buyers okay it's not hard since we're at the midpoint of August, you can see right here that we're not really seeing that much weakness coming through in the market from a long term perspective in XRP. 14 days left. Now, if we conclude in the next 14 days about 25 cents in XRP, that area is going to be the new support area. And the longer that we trade above 25 cents, the market strength is still being in play in XRP in the long term and you can see how the trend can actually be played out in the market in XRP now we got some restriction area coming through 35 cents all the way back up to 40 those are the restriction areas on the monthly perspective you can see that so for us we're not going to change our forecast again we're still expecting the market, the trap, to continue to increase the value in XRP. It's that simple. So we're going to hold this as a no change. We just increased our support area to around 29 cents. But again, it could come all the way back down to 28. And we'll still be trending well. So we're going to continue to play the strength into the market in XRP. 31 cents is going to be our TP area. Again, 32 would not be a problem at all. Uh, to see the trap come up there and try to take the value of XRP. But generally, this is our forecast. Now, it's your turn. Give us your forecast about XRP. Where do you think the value of this currency will be in the next three days? Do you think it's going to go higher or lower? And then on top of that, give us your TP price. Now, make sure you maintain a profitability. See you later.